From the plush offices of Macquarie Street to a prison cell. Former Aboriginal Affairs Minister Milton Orkopoulos was convicted of 30 drug and child sex offences committed against three teenage boys across more than a decade. He supplied his victims with alcohol, cannabis and heroin and dismissed one of them as a drug addict who wanted money when police began investigating. The now 62-year-old could walk free from jail in as little as two weeks after the State Parole Authority decided he's suitable for supervised release. The authority is satisfied that the release of the offender to parole will not pose an unacceptable risk to the safety of members of the community. His conditions will be strict. They include electronic monitoring, a ban on contacting or approaching victims or their families, a ban on entering the Newcastle and Lake Macquarie areas, not being in the company of minors alone and abstaining from drug use. The regime that he's going to be on is a uh, is not an easy one. He'll be uh, supervised and uh, he'll have to make sure that he's compliant in every respect. Milton Orkopoulos failed drug tests twice while he was in prison and the State Parole Authority heard he blamed that on anxiety relating to his ongoing detention. A prison report says he's accepted responsibility for his actions and recognised the inappropriateness of his behaviour. The authority acknowledged the release will impact his victims and said it was entirely understandable if they prefer he stay in jail. The overall sentence will expire in October 2021. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney.